Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I'm Morris Dimba, and today I'm going to show you another way in which you can share your model to other relevant people who would like to chip in and make some contribution to the model prior to approval stages. And they are absolutely not conversant with Tecla structures, and uh, they are very good in SketchUp environment. So let's get started right right here with this model that we've done we've done uh, previously and I've showed you several times. Now let's use this to share uh, in a format that people who are good in, uh, in uh, SketchUp can make some contribution in this model prior to approval stages. Now we have this in place. Let me just turn this round first so that you can have a look at it. This is how it looks. Now we want to send this to other people who they have no idea on how Tecla structures operate, operates and they can make some contribution uh, contribution to this model using a different software, maybe SketchUp. So we'll export this in a, a SketchUp format within Tecla structures, though both of them are Trimble products. Now I'll come to I'll come to a file here and scroll down here and I'll go straight to export. What is export? I'll click on that export. So we have the drawings. And we have and, and a Trimble and a Trimble Connect will pick on SketchUp and uh, click, just go ahead and click SketchUp right there and give it some time and uh, for this dialog box to pop up. You can read here st Tecla structures and uh, SketchUp format. Now I'll go straight and uh, create all. I'll click that button and give it some time to select everything and export all the parts. Now the exportation is complete. Now what we can do, we can just go ahead and, and now close this and also even close Tecla, stru tecla structures so that we don't uh, overuse the resources of our system because it, we will not use Tecla stru structures once again. We'll switch back to SketchUp. Now I'll go ahead here and close now and close Tecla structures for now. I'll close it now if uh, I'll, now what i'll do i'll just double click here and, and go to the folder of go to the same folder of of the footbridge so i'll follow it on this route on, the, on this path i'll come to tackle structures models and uh, look for the footbridge inside here where this footbridge is somewhere here footbridge is the one and then double click then uh, i'll come to this out so you can see that it on second on second i'll right click and uh i can change the, its name here i can give it a name footbridge footbridge though i would have done that prior to uh, prior to exporting it into into sketchup format now footbridge then uh click out there uh, somewhere else just to deselect that and then right click here and come to i'll, I'll copy paste it here I'll paste it here then I'll just drag that and I'll place it on SketchUp right there then I'll pick on the templates here uh, I am normally conversant with the metric I'll scroll down to either meters or millimeters there it is and I'll click open we'll give it some time to open in uh, SketchUp Now here we are and we have our footbridge in SketchUp environment. Now I can just have a look at it by turning this round like that. And maybe we, we want maybe to add something maybe where the road will be. And uh, we want to uh, maybe especially uh, the customer uh, at the most other people would like to contribute or add something on this particular project now what we'll do we'll just add a road here there's a road here a one-way road this side and that side now we'll add a road here i'll come to uh, 3d warehouse right here so that we can access we can access and to go straight to online library of sketchup so that we can pick some components just to input here then send this to uh, the designer to, indic in, to indicate 
how the road will span and uh, i mean the way uh, the width of the road and so, so that they make the allowance and so that they make adjustments on how these trestles will uh, create way for the road now i'll come here and click on the warehouse and this one we are going straight online online library for sketchup now what i'll do i'll just type here road and uh click right there and i'll, I'll look i look uh, something that would make a nice presentation let me just scroll down that's not not nice i think this would do good job now i'll click on this and then i want to load it straight to my model and there we are and uh, i want to just load it straight to this model and i, I, I will just pin it right there and if you take a look it's way big and uh, to confirm that you can check the measurements normally this distance this distance to this distance should be maybe six meters i'll close this i don't need that let me just check this measurement here first of all prior to making any adjustments all the way to the other end that is that to 60 66 feet I right click or click escape now I want to adjust this I want to rescale this to fit right here now I'll come to escape I'll, I'll, I'll come to rescale I'll, I'll select on that then uh, I'll just drag these handles to that position right there we want it in that position right there in that position and click right there i want to end it in that position perfect now what i'll do i want to just to pull it we've not done it nice we'll just come back again and rescale this i'll come to scale i want to rescale this to that position let me just take it to that position and click right there and just take it right there click right there then i'll click select then uh, the next thing I'm going to do is just to drag it. I want just to move it to make sure it sits perfectly well in this position. Maybe that part, that position is okay. And also, I want to drag it out. So I'll pick that and drag it uh, along that line or along that axis may be in that position and I'll, I'll place it right there then I'll press escape just to get out of that command then uh, you can see whatever we have this is what we have now and this how it looks so this is a road and this is now uh, a, p a pedestrian walkway or uh, overpass so this is very important because this minimizes the accidents of people crossing the road without even considering which way the car is coming from so this is how we can we can do this so we've walked all the way from tackle structures to sketchup and we can now save this in uh, in, in Tecla, I mean in SketchUp format, and this can also be be made presentable, more presentable going forward. Now, thanks a lot for watching this video, and uh, don't forget to subscribe from uh, if you're new to this channel. And uh, bye bye, I'm Maurice Dimba. Thank you.